What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a great holiday. In this video, I want to talk about this trend, for lack of a better word, that originated from social media, I believe TikTok, and it's called Hard Wig Soft Life. This trend originates from observations and conjectures based on those observations of black women who have white husbands who are rich. Some people noticed a pattern, which is that every time you see a black woman with a rich white husband, she has a hard wig. And for me personally, I interpret a hard wig as being a wig that's perhaps busted, not believable, not styled properly, or perhaps just too much. Like the wig is wearing her versus she wearing the wig. So once again, people are concentrating and focusing in on black women's hair choices, whether well, in this case, it's a black woman wearing a wig. Are black women wearing wigs? You know, folks just have just such fascination with their hairstyle choices. And of course, some people will come through and, you know, say, hey, it's not nothing to be taken too seriously. It's just a joke. And I do agree with that overall. I think overall, it's something just to be taken as a joke, sort of like a TikTok thing or a social media thing or trend. But of course, you know, people have their opinions as usual, right? Um, but the thing is, though, this whole trend, I believe, originated from a documentary that came out in like 2015 called Britain's Flashiest Families. And the documentary just happened to feature a black woman who had what people would refer to as a hard wig and a white husband with a lot of money. But I'll say one of the interesting things about this trend is that it puts black women in interracial dating and marriage in the spotlight. As well, some people can argue that it even puts black women's beauty in the spotlight. Although some people may argue against that because it's like, well, she's wearing a wig. Even though women of all races do something to enhance their beauty. It may not be a wig, but it may be makeup, lipstick, dyeing their hair, using Botox or fillers, and, you know, getting, a co getting cosmetic procedures done or having plastic surgery, etc. And of course, there are also some people may, who may argue that, hey, this is a fetish because, you know, anytime a black woman is being noticed for anything remote to her beauty, it's a fetish. And I see this more so in black women who are, you know, quote unquote, unambiguous and darker skinned, because when it be, when it's talking about when people focus on the beauty of, say, you know, the lighter skinned black women or even the biracial women who are classified as black. Folks don't seem to really push that fetish conversation nearly as much for some reason. And then some people may come through and be all like, well, that black woman ain't all that. And, you know, that may be true. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. However, if basic Becky, basic Rebecca can get away with it, mediocre Selena and average Kim Wu can come through and do what they do, then why not? Black women, whether average, above average, below average, whatever. In regards to non-black men and black women who are wearing wigs, 
You know, I think perhaps the non-black men may not know it's a wig. Because let's be real, like a lot of non-black people don't really know, quote unquote, how black hair works, quote unquote. I guess I should have just put that works in quote unquote. But yeah, a lot of non-black people don't really know how black hair works, though. That's the thing. So they don't really know how it's supposed to really be looking and what it's supposed to really be doing and things like that. That's why, you know, you can kind of tell sometimes when it's like a black person and you can tell her if they have a lot of black people in their lives or not sometimes based on their styling choices. But, you know, that is something to think about, though, because for these non-black men who are interested in black women, they got a peep game. They have to look for certain signs that show that she is a black woman who is perhaps open to dating non-black men. And perhaps a hard wig is one of those signs. Um, but referring to the couple from Britain's flashiest families, um, by the way, um, their names are Sam and Irene. But based on what I've heard, um, you know, Irene, she didn't have a hard wig when they met. They originally met in Cameroon, where she is from. Um, he was there on business. So since she lived in Cameroon, you know, there were definitely people available who could do her hair, who know how to do her hair. However, when she moved to the United Kingdom, Great Britain, England, and the other 511 names the country has, the place that she moved to, I don't think there are many people who knew how to do her hair, perhaps. So that may have been an issue. And then some people saying, well, she rich. She too rich to be having a hard wig like that. Perhaps. But the thing is, maybe she herself doesn't really know too much about wigs since she never wore them. And granted, of course, there's like, you know, resources online and, you know, social media, YouTube videos, etc. True. Of course. But perhaps maybe it's just not a big deal to her to have her wig laid, quote unquote. And there's some people who have equated this hard wig, soft life to um, black men who have busted hairlines who date non-black women. Um, a YouTuber by the name of FD Signifier, I think that's how you say his name. I believe someone said that he recently spoke about black men with bad hairlines slash bad shape ups being more likely to date white women. You know, and perhaps there's some truth in that as well. But me, from what I've heard personally, and as well, I think what some other people have heard personally, it seems like non black men, um, especially white men, tend to be with black women who wear their natural hair. Now, I've heard that definitely. Um, but there are some people, especially some black people, well, some black women, um, who view this trend as making fun of black women who date interracially. You know, like it's meant to mock and to disparage that segment of black women who do date interracially. Perhaps there are some roots in that. Perhaps. But all in all, I find it all to be pretty interesting. <laughs> pretty interesting. Uh, but I do want to give a shout out, and I should have done this earlier, but I forgot. But I do want to give a shout out to the YouTuber Amanda Mariana who did an excellent video about this. Very well put together. As well, she has other great videos on her channel as well. Like, you know, her video about being a student at NYU and her experience with that, um, her experiences after graduating, you know, her thoughts on uh, Mindy Kalen, I think. I think that's her name. 
But if you don't know about her, definitely go check her out. But thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.